What a magnificent place to fly the drone. Come straight for us on the park. We just had a look in the binoculars. There's a hell of a lot of people up there. So we're hoping if we go up a bit later, they might have all come down. We left Rincha Island and headed to Padar Island, a popular island where you could walk to the top for some epic views. So there's a lot of boats in here, a lot of tourists climbing to the summit of Padar Island. The little specks up on the mountain, that's where you climb up here, up there. We headed in slowly and on our way we saw boat after boat leaving. So Alicia spotted a mooring. All right, we're going to hook onto this mooring by the look of it. Self is on a mooring, let's pray that it doesn't break. So luckily Taj and I are the same size shoes now. We got my thongs. I got Taj's on. What's in this bag? Lots of things, mate. Poor Lee. What's in the bag? Well, we've got water bottles, cameras, a drone. So maybe later, uh... Oh, sorry. Mum, look out for the guy with the gun. Anchor in there? Right, southeast. Yeah. So it's a no then, Captain. Here's us casually posing for some photos with a policeman holding a machine gun. So Taj is, <laughs> we just got stopped by some police. Policeman to have some photos with and Taj is nearly at the top by the look of it. <laughs> Yes, it was as hot as it looked. He kicked it open off. Oh, it's gone black. Oh, it's you're in your bloody off. toenails. <laughs> Dad always manages to hurt his toes and today he kicked his already broken toenail. Poor Dad. You're not at the top, but you're close. So we just have a little pit stop. I think we're nearly at the top. And we've gone full oriental with our umbrella. Aren't we clever now? I think the first time we did a climb, we had no water, no shoes, no hats, no sunscreen. Look at us now. Just killing life. Phew! Come on, old man, get moving. What's unique about this view is that you can see a pink sand beach, a black sand beach, and a white sand beach, all on the one island. The Tapa's left down there all on her lonesome. How good's this, guys? We've got Pada Summit, Pada Island, all to ourselves. Last of the tourist boats are that. leaving. We're the smartest people climbing the mountain in the middle of the day. <laughs> it's hot, it's hot, it's really hot. We got to the top yet guys we're on our way it's just there the kids were hot so they stayed in the shade under the tree this is it guys and girls i have a red face hat hair sweaty armpits but i'm at the top and it's beautiful Woo! I would launch a 
a thousand ships Just to be about your lips Till the mall to say Welcome back down to the family because I don't know where they've stopped under that tree I think I left Taj and Bella and Daddy looks like he's flying the drone What a magnificent place to fly the drone Life is wonderful the tourists have left because it's bloody hot who walks up the mountain in the midday in the tropics bloody madness Straight below you, straight below you there. Down now, straight down. today we're not anchored we're just on the mooring so all we have to do is unhook and we're away it's a beautiful walk up the summit and um, we're glad we did it we were gonna miss this island and we uh, decided not to and that was worthwhile that was easy <laughs> yeah. we headed off to Komodo Island and got on a mooring near Pink Beach we hooked on and a moment later we had boats of guys from the Komodo village wanting to sell us bowls and wood carved komodos. Very nice. Very nice. The next morning we headed to where we could see some komodo dragons. We just arrived on Komodo Island, pulled up our tender, and we're gonna go find the office or the national park where we go see some komodos hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> So Basar is scared Taj, so he's putting his shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes, <laughs> dragons, he got a little bit scared. <laughs> Half an hour later. <laughs> She's fine. Hello. All good. Very tight on my feet. They're a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just growing his shoes no longer fit him. He's now taking his shoes off because they're too small. <laughs> oh. right, there's one coming in our way. This is a young one, a baby one. The only place Komodo dragons are found are here in Indonesia. Komodo dragons are the largest and heaviest lizards in the world. Wow. So it's good we're in a little group. Our guide takes photos for us. He just got some cool photos of us in the, in the dragon. I feel a bit sorry for the dragons. I just get chased. <laughs> so you watch Bass out. He gets, crouches down in front of the dragon to take our photo. <laughs> it's crazy. Don't turn your back, Basar. Is that what they say? And Lee's also got his stick, so I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> Komodo dragons hunt and ambush their prey, and one of the few with a venomous bite. These stealthy, powerful hunters 
rely on their sense of smell to detect food using their long forked tongues to sample the air. They can spend hours waiting for a sizable meal to wander within range before launching a deadly attack. Buddy, oh, this okay. big head, this a uh, long tail. Okay. Yeah, it's a male. Big yeah. head, big tail. Yes. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> And this one's a male? This guy was keen for a snooze, but I think all the humans were keeping him awake. So we've had more luck here than we did walking the island, following tracks. They're everywhere. The Komodos here seem pretty placid, but I don't think I'd like to be around when they could smell some food. Komodo dragons can briefly run at the speed of up to 20 kilometres per hour. You had enough, this guy. That's the way they move, they're prehistoric, they're like dinosaurs. His tail. Oh, I just see that big claw on the back of his foot. You just wouldn't want one running at you. So there we have it. Komodo dragons. We didn't have to walk far. We go for a walk in the jungle before we go. What do you guys think of the Komodo dragons? Hey? Cool. What are these holes for? Snake holes. Are they really? Yeah. Oh, they are from their sticks. <laughs> they have deer on the island, and this is what the Komodos feed on. Check out their crazy long tongues. This one is a female. Then we had one come straight for us on the path, but this guy had right of way. So we moved aside and let him pass. But the guide wanted to make sure he kept on walking. Get down here. Hello. Stay to the Don't break, wait. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, One last Komodo came to see us off. See you, mate. It was a pleasure stalking you from afar. We got back to Catalpa and it was time for a swim and to check out Pink Beach, a beach that apparently has pink sand. This is a super popular spot with the tourist boats. So it turns out the sand isn't actually pink. The sand is a blend of white and red coral, which makes it look pink from afar. It was a pretty little bay with clear water, but the coral had seen better days. Fly away with me, take you high, sorry, see you smile. up to me my toes slip into the sand dream that I'm with you staring out into the sea with me. waves come Take crashing up to me Sorry. my toes slip See into smile. the sand smile dream that dream. I'm with you We unhooked from the mooring buoy, but the mooring buoy didn't want us to leave. The ropes were tangled. Mum jumped in to untangle the line. <laughs> and we were free to move again. So we left Pink Beach about lunchtime. And we're now heading where? Well, I think we're going to go to Macassa Reef, but... I can see it in the distance and it looks like there's a hundred big boats there. Hey babe, nice shirt. Oh, we had a good experience at the Komodo National Park. We motored on to Makassar Reef where once again 
There were lots of tourist boats. Mum spotted a manta and before we knew it, she was in the water. Dad threw her a line and decided to tow us around so we could swim with the mantas. one for the team here, uh, Sarah and Bella, they're just actually down in the water, right uh, there, the back of the boat, we've got a lot of action going on around here, so I'm just doing a little bit of driving, there's boat after boat, uh, Manoray Hotspot, Makassar Reef, Komodo Islands. So the easiest way for us to uh, have a little look is I've just towing the girls around on the back of the boat and uh, they've seen a few mantas and... but we've just seen a massive manta ray jump. So, girls are still in the water on the hunt and they could be coming up to a big one any second. for the night and it's got a mooring buoy so very handy and we hooked on to the mooring buoy. It's very excited because we knew there was only one mooring buoy in here and we just watched a boat come out so it was great timing. And we've got a friend already. He's probably going to want to sell us the same bowls and the same kind of dragons and the same stuff that we've already got. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Good Australia. I'm from Komodo Island. Komodo Island. I'm, my name's Sarah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, you have <laughs> abalone shells. Yeah. Yeah. Pearls. Yeah, we have. <laughs> 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 we have already. Oh, in Komodo. Yeah. We didn't buy anything but gave him some books and things for his kids. This place is incredible. So join us next time as we explore some more. No, too. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah, you know what to do. If you like that video, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> if you like that video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> so if you want to see where we are right now and what we're doing, then you can go follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Sailing Catalpa. That's it. Where are we Until up to? next time, uh, we're going to do a little bit of diving now. Thanks again. See you next time. A special thank you to all our patrons. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. It all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all